Hey, hello and uh, welcome to my studio. Um, today I am doing a quick video for you um, on a full Pilates setup. Um, so this is what I will go through with my new clients to just get them into um, alignment, get their body into their most um, economical position for doing Pilates and for doing anything else that they do. So I'm just going to step back so you can see my feet for a little bit. So we're going to start off with your feet together and you're just going to send your heels apart and your toes apart. So you land roughly hip width apart and you're going to just think about that length all the way through your legs, drawing up, you come to your hip bones. So I'm going to get you to imagine, wait for it, car headlights on the front of your hips, okay? And it's just to remind you to keep them shining forward all of the time. So you're going to continue that length all the way through your body. Now I'm sure you've heard this one before, you're going to think about string attached to the very crown of your head, drawing you upwards. And I'm not just thinking about your head drawing up, but literally think about it through your spine, through your torso, through your neck, through your head, just drawing you up lovely and tall. Fantastic. We're going to bring those shoulders up, back, and just very gently down. Just, just relaxing them down. So they are tucked slightly back. Um, and a thing that I use with lots of my clients is that you can imagine that you are tucking little pointy bits of your shoulder blades down towards your jeans pockets. So you're just drawing them back and down your back and having that nice open feeling across your chest. So if you hear shoulders in your pockets, that's what I'm talking about. I come a bit closer to you now so you don't need to see my feet. So we've got those shoulders down in the right, uh, right position. You're going to bring your head back very slightly as if you're going to rest it against a car headrest and then just nod your chin. So you're going to end up with your ears, your shoulders, your hips and your ankles all in a nice line. So you're nice and efficient. Then what we're going to do is do a big tilt under, really big exaggerated tilt under and then send it back the other way. So you're going to really move that pelvis. We're in full Michael Jackson mode here. And then just settle yourself somewhere in between those two exaggerated movements. Um, a, lot, a lot of the time you'll hear it described as your pelvis being a bowl of water. So if you tipped it too far forward, the water would fall out the front. And if you tipped it too far back, the water would fall out the back. So you want that water nice and level. And that creates your own natural scoop and curve in your spine. And it's different for everybody else. So you don't look at other people and think, oh, I haven't got my, my back straight properly. It's the, every, we're all different shapes and sizes. And that is your most efficient position to be in for your body. Super. So now we're going to hold it there. Now then, we've got that lovely pelvic floor muscle, that... Uh, that um, hammock of muscles underneath from your pubic bone right round to your tailbone. So you're going to draw that up. There are lots of different ways to think about it. People talk about um, drawing the lift up towards the tenth floor and then releasing it down to the fifth floor and then releasing it down again to the second or third floor. If that works for you, that's super. All I want you to do is engage those muscles, start to wake them up to something that you think that you could maintain for a longer period of time without giving away on your face what you're doing. So, um, yeah, I don't want you walking along and people knowing what you're, what you're up to. So, in theory, it's about a 20-30% engagement, but just something that you think that you might be able to maintain. The same here, for the muscles is super band of muscles across here, your abdominal muscles. Now I think a good way to engage them is to think about drawing your hips in together. So literally think about pulling your hip bones in together. So you're drawing the space between your pubic bone and your belly button, belly button, belly button in <laughs> towards your spine and feel like you're drawing those hips in together. And that's your uh, abdominal muscles there, 
your transverse abdominal muscles, all engaged. Okay, so you've got your pelvic floor wrapped in around there, you've got your abdominal muscles wrapped in around there. Now we're going to just think very quickly about the breathing here. Now in Pilates we do uh, lateral thoracic breathing, that will be the first and the last time I say that. And basically that means that you're breathing nice and wide into your ribs, into your thorax here. So you can put your hands together if you like, I can move my scarf out of the way. And then as you're breathing in, see if as you part your ribs, your fingers come apart. And so as you breathe out, they will come back down again. So you can do that a couple of times, breathing in, nice and wide into that rib cage and then breathing out, huffing all that used air right back out again. And another thing to start thinking about is as you breathe out, you're drawing those ribs down towards your hip bones. They don't actually get down there, but start to feel that connection down towards your hip bones. So then as you're breathing out, You've got your diaphragm squishing all that unused air or that used air out, ready to fill them back up with lovely fresh air. Got your pelvic floor locked in, you've got your abdominal muscles locked in, and then as you're doing your Pilates, we start to strengthen your core and strengthen your back. So your whole body is efficient and strong to then be able to do whatever you need to do throughout your day in safety. So that's a very, very brief run through of, um, of a Pilates setup. Um, and I hope that uh, that, is, that is helpful for, um, for anybody that uh, is curious about Pilates. And if, if so, give me a shout and, uh, and we can have a look at, at classes or one-to-one -one sessions. And uh, let's fit Pilates into your life. So take it easy and I will see you soon.